Welcome back to Las Vegas, and it's the first quarterfinal of the 2019 North American Championship. Daniel Bagish against Elliot Milk. Well, over the last couple of days, eight players from North America have battled their way through to get their chance, not only on, at this World Series event, the US Darts Masters, but this massive qualifying event for the World Championship, a tournament in its own right with $10,000 going to the winner here. Daniel Bagish, thought by some as Perhaps the man to watch. Jeff Smith, of course, won this title 12 months ago and booked his place at Alexandra Palace in the World Championship. But Elliot Milk, in fact, all of the players you'll see on this stage this evening acquitted themselves pretty well. None of them managed to overcome the stars of the PDC in round one of the US Darts Masters. But I think that maybe they might have had an eye on this as being the more important. Yes, of course, you want to test yourself against Michael Van Gerwen, Gary Anderson, et al, and hopefully beat them. But to win through to the World Championship and pick up 10 grand, that might be the greater prize. The opening match sees Daniel Baggish and Elliot Milk duking it out. Which way is he going to go, Vikey? Well, they both performed really well, Milk. For me, was uh, was terrific against Gary Anderson. Gave him real problems throughout. Eventually, edged out six four. Daniel Bagish doesn't really get going against Daryl Gurney. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people were looking at Bagish before the U.S. Darts Masters started, thinking that he could be one to possibly upset the odds. Nearly two hundred came to qualify. Eight succeeded. Sixty. And one man later tonight will become the very first qualifier to book their ticket to the 2020 World Darts Championship. 60. Talk about eyes on the prize. Well, that eyewear beats even Jeff 100. Smith. That's impressive. Oh, no. It's catching. A big opportunity for someone. I mean, you look at the big guns coming later, the likes of Smith and Darren Young, of course, who played so well in his match against Michael Van Gerwen, just edged out at the end, 6-4. I think Young, a previous winner of this event. I think at the moment, Young is top of the CDC Championship, which is played here in the... USA and Canada, top American and the top Canadian will also get shots at the World Easy Championship one. through that order of merit. Ten tournaments played throughout the year. So a safety net for, for Darren Young as, as it stands if he doesn't get through tonight. 60. Yeah, but taking four legs off the reigning world champion isn't a bad way to warm up for it, is it? The way this is structured, you'll see all four quarterfinals straight into the two semis. And, you and then the final to follow. And the winner of this one will take on the winner of the next game between Leonard Gates and Sean Brenneman. Baggish will leave himself on top. Milk, two dot check out here. Should be the 19s. Well, now, ball or 14s. He's got a choice. I think that's the right decision. He just hasn't managed to execute. 41. And you require 40. For the first leg against the darts. Gage on the first leg. No messing. Second leg, Daniel to throw first. Game on. Well, the four qualifying events that were held, two per day, 
So will the winner of each one go through to this field? And then the other four players are the ones who performed most consistently and got furthest oh, without winning one of the titles. And these two guys won the events yesterday. So event three and event four. So they've already had that feeling of carving their way through a whole field of 60. nearly 200 players, which is not to be sniffed at. And Daniel Baggish in particular was throwing some good stuff. Couple of ton plus averages in there, 105. I don't care who you are. 105 average is going to cause you problems. One hundred and forty. Well, Milt was two up against Gary Anderson. Yeah, and it didn't end how he wanted, so maybe the plan should go behind, see if that works. Prison warden from South Dakota. One hundred. He worked with us earlier. Will our Brie, who won this event in 2017. Well, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Oh, and he wasn't far away, was he? Baggish, he will return to make it 2 0. Yeah, Bruyere, the chief of police in the same town that uh, Elliot Milk is the prison warden. And a brilliant 177 now to leave 24, but will he get a shot? Two at double eight for 2 0. Up for fours, busts no it, busts it. I think Milk has, has earned the right, hasn't he? Deserved the shot after that 177. 24 going, double six. Game shot on the second leg, Elliot Milk. Took it well, one apiece. Well, <laughs> nearly saw the 161, then a 177. Perfect setup shot, forcing the error from Danny Baggish. Immediate break back from the milkman. From Charles Mix. Town in South Dakota. 100. <laughs> 65. Is a very, very difficult one to call about who comes through this. Yes, you mentioned that the big names, Darren Young and Jeff Smith, who came closest to pulling off upsets this afternoon in the first round of the US Darts Masters. But nobody was really expecting Willard Bruyer two years ago to carve his way through the field in the manner that he did. 79. And the key thing for Willie J, as he's known back then, was his finishing. He was ruthless on the doubles. 140. Easy one. It's the opportunity for all of these players to win a, a prestigious title, Easy a big one. title. We talked about the rewards. Simply to be called the North American champion. 60. Ellie, you require 160. Well, six starts from here. To go ahead. 100. It's okay. I wonder how much Baggish will come to rue those two darts he had to make it 2 0. But in the last leg, Milk produced a 177 to put pressure on. 25. You require 60. Well, it's not in the way of the double top. 50. And you require 91. Again, options here for Baggish. What's the route? Gone the ball, so now looks at the 16s. And it gets him a dart at the ball once again. Great leave. 59. Leaves 32. Super. Ellie, you require 10. Well. 8. Milk's turn to miss. And you require 32. I think that's a good plan from Baggish. He's just giving himself a moment. It was his 
first ever day playing big stage darts here today in Vegas. 24. But he's there not managed to pin it. Different game altogether, isn't it? Two big rooms no used for qualifying over the last couple of days. Several there boards being used. Eight. No close proximity players next to each other playing big games, but this is totally different. Nice goal. The nerves kick in, the pressure Here builds. Two. Clicking off the wires, Danny Baggish. That was not happening yesterday. Elliot Milk. In the Madhouse, but 2-1 up. Shake of the head, first sign of frustration. Didn't really see him do that. Against Daryl Gurney, and he, he was beaten 6-1. Actually averaged in the 90s in that game, Danny Baggish. It's just that the fact that world number three was... Not hitting everything, but very well-timed shots from Daryl Gurney in that clash earlier. 22. Yeah, the rest of the draw. We'll see Leonard Gates, the former baseball star against the Canadian Sean Brennan. Darren Young, number one ranked American against Jim Long, who's the number one ranked Canadian at the moment. And then Gary Morton against Jeff Smith. And then the semi finals and final. All first to six, best of 11 throughout the night here at the Mandalay Bay. 60. Yeah, you'd have to say that half of the draw with Darren Young, the US number one. Jim Long, the top Canadian. Jeff Smith, who won this last year and has an enormous amount of experience. And then Gary Morton, who's probably more experienced than everybody put together. And that is a, a nightmare half of the draw. You've got well, you would, you would say that the winner is going to come from that bottom half of the draw. 100. The beauty of this format is that the short race to, to six legs, anything is possible. And as Dan mentioned, no one, but no one would have picked uh, Will our Bruyere out as the winner two years 60. ago. Three good performances. Here's on the fourth leg, Daniel Bagley. Two all here. Fifth leg, Elliot to throw first. Game on. That's a 13 data there from Danny Baggish, and that's more like the stuff he was throwing in the qualifiers. 45. Now, we know, we know there will be nerves, maybe even more nerves in a game like this than earlier on today when none of these guys were the favourites. None of them were expected to go and beat the big stars. But here, there is so much on the line that it might get a little bit nervy at times. That could settle Baggish down if 16. he just gets into that flow. And it is a... Oh, why not? If he just gets into that groove that he evidently found in the qualifiers... 78. That ru smooth, rhythmical throw. He's going to be very dangerous, and he might be the biggest threat to those bigger names in the other half 16. of the draw. Well, certainly not as consistent as they were in those matches against the elite of the PDC. 125. Two Canadians in, eh? Getting carried away there. It's at, it said Edmonton. I thought it said Everson. One hundred and forty. Yeah, the better player at the moment, isn't he? Left ninety-eight after twelve. Well, last couple of legs. Been firing in a couple of big trebles. Forty-five. And you his visits, and this is a two-dart checkout. Double nineteen. Oh, he splits it. Double sixteen. It is. 82. Well, cost himself a dart a double, but got a go at a double he was more comfortable with. Didn't work out. 98. Baggish will be back. 98. 
Daniel, you require 16. To try and go ahead. For the first time since the first leg. He's on the fifth leg. No trouble Daniel at all. Baggins. So Baggins it is with the advantage here. The first quarter-final of the North American Darts Championship. We're live at the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas. And Baggins, 3-2 up on Elliot Mill. Welcome back to the Mandalay Bay here in Las Vegas. This beautiful goal building at the end of the strip. And it is a golden chance we have tonight for eight players from North America looking to get to the World Championship. Danny Baggish has come from 2-1 down to lead 3-2 at the break. He is halfway to a spot in the semi-finals. But did that break come at the wrong time? He just settled into a groove you can see the stats show he's the better player both men missing doubles it's been a bit nervy at times but Danny Baggish who Daniel looks so Daniel dangerous Daniel in the Daniel. qualifiers Game on. well he might have just got into the groove yeah, he's been the dominant player I mean he 3-2 up should be 4-1 up missed darts earlier on easy one um, the milkman isn't delivering at the moment. 60. We, we saw Elliot when he, he came on stage earlier on today for his clash against Gary Anderson, the reigning US darts Easy master. One. And you could see there was, there was focus, there was intent, there was a bit of fire. He was a bundle of energy. It's just gone a little bit flat. 137. More like it for the milkman. Fifty-nine. Well, Bagish was actually born on the Pacific Island of Guam. One hundred. Now residents in Florida. 140. Lost to Leonard Gates, who won the year got to the final of the Charlotte Open. 140. Lost to Leonard Gates, who will see next against Sean Brenneman. So he's born in Guam. He lives in Florida. He appears to have a San Francisco 49ers tattoo as well as a Chicago Bulls tattoo. He's got divided loyalties, Danny Baggish. 100. You, you go out of the, out of the back here. I mean, talking about San Francisco, fantastic new stadium being built in the shadow of the Mandalay Bay. The new NFL team, the Las Vegas Raiders. More of that in a moment. 72. Daniel, you require 40. Well, for daylight, for three legs on the spin. Good aggressive dart from Baggish. 4 2 it is. Yes, the Oakland Raiders in a couple of years. The franchise moving to Las Vegas. The Vegas Raiders. And the multi million pound stadium. Easy when we were here 12 months ago, it was just wasteland. All the structure is now in place. Sport mad. City of Las Vegas. The team won the Stanley Cup ice hockey a couple of years ago, becoming a, a big sporting venue. 100. Oh, you get the feeling this is a must-win leg for Milk. If he's broken here and goes 5-2 down, Danny Baggish will have made it four on the spin. And I think there's only one winner from there. 100. But certainly, just before this got going, speaking to Rod Harrington, a former world number one and two-time world match play winner, of course. But he in particular was impressed with Baggish. Likes the throw, 
Likes the style. Thinks he's got something. Oh, he really has, hasn't he? Well, Bakish, you know, normally is a, is a huge soft tip player, so rarely picks up the, the steel tip, but it's a great effect here. Just left with the ball here, Milk. Nowhere near, so Bagash has given himself a great chance. May end up with one at the bull himself. No, it's better than that. It's two at double 12. Danny Bagash is all over Elliot Milk. Hey, Blake Daniel to throw first. Game on. Picked out as a potential winner, showing just why. Four legs on the spin. And now throwing for the match. And that average has climbed up. To getting on for 90. 16. Now, when you take out that pub leg of darts in the third leg, where they were both missing doubles, left, right and centre, it's it's not been bad. It's been 100. solid without being spectacular. And we know he's got spectacular in his locker because he produced some in the qualifiers to get here. One hundred. Winner of this face is Leonard Gates or Sean Brenneman. That will be the quarterfinal that follows this one. We might not have long to wait because Danny Bagish is on the charge. Fifty-six. I just haven't hit the heights of the way that he performed 60. against Gary Anderson in the US Darts Masters. One hundred. Looks like the prison warden will be back at work 81. on Monday morning. Sixty-five. Yeah, sensible use of the bullseye there for Danny Baggish. Gets him down to 120, a Shanghai finish. There'll be pressure. 100. And you'll leave 120. For a spot in the semis. Danny Baggish. One of the top performers in the qualifiers. Hey. Seals it! An absolutely oh, superb oh, comeback. Oh, Nervy and edgy at the start. But Danny Bagish got into the groove and got into the semis. Welcome back to Las Vegas and a nice way to check out for Daniel Bagish, a 120 finish. And he is our first semi-finalist here of the North American Championship. Let's take a quick look at the stats from that match. No maximums from either player and double successes. Elliot Milk, only 20%. That's really the, the killer factor him for him there. 33% for Bagish and that nice finish. So he'll feel good. Let's see how he does feel. He's with Dan Dawson. Danny, congratulations. Bit nervous at the start, perhaps? That's an understatement. <laughs> I, was, I was more nervous in this one than I was uh, the first one for some reason, but I think after I got the break to go into the break, it, it really settled me down. Once you got into that groove, you started producing some of the stuff we saw from you in the qualifiers, and, and that could well be enough to win this, couldn't it? I hope so. I hope so. If I, if, I can, if I can finish well and if I can score like I've been scoring, I think I have a good shot for sure. What would it mean to you, Danny, to, to win this? I mean, not just the 10 grand, but 
getting to the World Championship at Ali Pali? I've been dreaming about this for, for years. This is the first opportunity that I've actually had a chance to do so. Um, one match at a time, though. I'm not looking, looking ahead. So in the next match first, and if, if I happen to win, then it's going to be a blessing. One step closer. Congratulations. Thank you so much. That's what it means to get into the semi-finals here in the biggest night of darts in North America. First quarter final goes Daniel Bagish's way. Well done to him. He moves through. There's confirmation. 6-2 over Elliot Milk. Still to come, Darren Young against Jim Long. Gary Mawson against Jeff Smith. But next, the Canadian, Sean Brenneman, against the former minor league baseball player, Leonard Gates.